guys, Cleon here and welcome back to another Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2 video and today we're going to be continuing the quest to max rank 2.0 series, let's hop into a game of turf takeover. Okay, we're on the plant side so let's hopefully get our Frost Rose to level 10 so then we can hopefully promote her at the end of this game. We've joined in on the second garden so hopefully we can allow the zombies to capture this so we get quite a long game in here today. But how's your guys day going? My day is going fine. I've literally just recorded the last Quest Max Strike episode so you guys should go check that out. We get our Fire Rose to level 10 and then promote her and then we also get our Painter to level 10. So um, if, if we manage to get our frost rose to level 10 before the end of the episode we probably will be trying to switch to the zombie side so that we can hopefully uh, start working on the plumber today so hopefully we can do that oh never mind there we go got an assist there right so i've got some things to talk to you guys about that i didn't want to talk about in the last episode because i wanted to save it for this episode oh my god stuff has happened at college and it's really like embarrassing for me and everything but i'm gonna tell it to you guys anyway so it was parents evening like yesterday i think but i didn't go so um that's another thing but um yeah it was is review week this week right and we were supposed to have our reviews done at college we have like four or five of these every single year and if you pass them then you can then you're good to go but um if you don't pass them then that's not good then you're not on track on getting like a distinction or a distinction star or like a merit or whatever it's called like in like the degree sort of thing like a diploma i don't know what it's called but um yeah it was supposed to be review week this week i couldn't get into college on monday because uh my my parents car was still broke down so i couldn't get into college until wednesday this week and that was a bit of an issue because Mondays are the longest days at college and yeah I couldn't be in for like the majority of the work in the week and they actually moved the review week well the review day to Wednesday as well so I was like yes okay that's good that that's good that I did that because otherwise I would have missed the review thing so I come in on Wednesday thinking I got this review about all my work and then and then like our teacher just starts talking about all these things that we should have in our work, right? And he's just, and he's like, right, so who's ready for this review? And there's this one person in my group who has done like a course at the same college. This is like his fourth course or something. And he's the only person who's actually like done everything because um, he knows what goes on with all these college courses. He knows how it all works. This is my first time going to college. I don't know what to do like there's stuff that he knows that what goes on with the college stuff so obviously he's gonna have all this stuff ready he's even got gone past or we have what we were supposed to have ready for our um review so my tutor basically got very 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 annoyed at my group like seriously annoyed at my group like he he put off the review till um yesterday which was thursday he put it off till then because no one had their stuff ready for that so that's why uh the review wasn't on wednesday and then yeah and then yesterday was thursday um and the reason why we didn't have a review yesterday is because there was oh my god there was an unbelievable amount of traffic i can't believe i got into college like on time like i had to actually get out of my car and start walking because the traffic was so bad and my tutor didn't get in till like half an hour later from like that hour and a half session we had for that lesson so he pushed the review to next week so basically it was supposed to be ne uh, like this monday and now it's been pushed to next monday which is kind of funny but um also what happened yesterday kind of embarrassing for me as well um, I forgot my ID card. Now, at my college, you have to wear this ID card. It allows you to, like, you have to scan it on this thing, and it allows you into the college. Yeah, I forgot my ID card. Now, you can go ahead and uh, get a temporary one for the day if it's, like, your first time for getting it. But I was like, well, I got a £5 note in my purse. Why not just buy a new one and keep that one spare, like, in my bag just in case I forget it ever again? So I go ahead and buy one. They had, they could found my picture so they had to retake my picture and that picture was like the most embarrassing picture ever so yeah that was great and um yeah so the picture was terrible and i got my new card i was like yes this is fine i'll just use this and then when i come back later i'll use my old card again keep that one in my bag so i go and do my lesson and um that happens then and then i get uh, back 
later on in the day. I just recorded the um, the trials of, oh, not trials numbers, but it's like the mystery portal event. Set that to upload. Left my house with my old card and um, tried to get into the college with my old card. Now I had an issue because apparently at my college you can't have two active cards at once. So that was a massive issue because I couldn't actually get into the college. Luckily I had my new card on me at the same time which was kind of a reason why I could actually get in but I had to then after the college day I had to I had to go and get that switched but oh I was hoping the zombies would capture this that's really annoying um, I think we're gonna go into a game of team vanquish because I can't play another game of tough takeover just because I've allowed the game will be too long so we're gonna go into some team vanquish I might just continue explaining my story to you guys while I'm loading into the game but yeah I went I basically went in and I wanted to change which card was activated. Now it was kind of embarrassing because I had to say why I wanted to change it. The reason was my picture was terrible on my new card and um, yeah that was basically the reason why. So they were like oh fair enough. So then I changed the card. It's all fine. I'm still really embarrassed about it though because like the whole situation was just so silly. Like I didn't even have to buy a new card. I could have just got like a temporary one. So I've kind of like wasted five pounds on like this really annoying like really really bad ID card that I'd, I'd never want to so that was really annoying and embarrassing so yeah I, I think it's going to go back to normal now but I have got a lot of work to do with college I, I actually like on Wednesday I had a lot of work to do um, just related to all my coursework because I had to print off everything our tutor like said to us to print off everything and he really literally quite literally meant everything we done digitally so I had to print off all my illustrator work all my surveys I did all this other stuff I had to do and um yeah that was kind of like <laughs> what uh it was it was very stressful but and yeah, and I actually went in on Wednesday and I, my, me and my dad went and bought some ink and then they realised that the, our printer had no paper. So I actually had to go and buy like a whole like stack of paper from like a shop on like my break on Wednesday and it was so hilarious because I had to like well actually my, my friend carried around the paper for me because I was like yes thank you thank you for holding the paper like it was a massive like sack of like 100 sheets of like I think no, I think it was like 400 or something sheets of paper like I don't know like how he could say yes to that and this game is empty so I guess I'll just return to my backyard we can do like a mini pack opening as well while I'm still explaining this but um yeah he had this like massive like pack of paper that he was carrying around for me like being really nice to me like that was like really nice for him to do that for me so I didn't have to carry around a, like a massive bit of paper like in my bag he was just carrying in his bag so yeah that was really nice of him to do that but yeah I got home I printed everything off and it was all fine and I did that on Wednesday night and I had to spend two hours of my Wednesday evening without playing Pokemon Sun because it arrived on Wednesday and I was so excited to play Pokemon Sun and just couldn't play it because it didn't get there in the break and um, so yeah that was a, like a massive issue because I couldn't I couldn't play it in my break because it didn't arrive till two o'clock and I was back at college then so yeah I, I didn't start playing Pokemon Sun until like 7 o'clock in the evening on Wednesday. So it was like, I missed out on a lot of time I could have been playing the game. But it's fine, I started the game, started soft resetting for a shiny Litten. That was pretty cool. I'm at 100 soft resets right now, so hopefully I can get that sometime soon. Let's hopefully get loads of stuff in this year. I think I'm going to be spending like 500,000 coins on this stuff because... Um, I really want to complete all this stuff in the sticker book because I just really want to get all this stuff here. So we've got gold super swells. We're getting a lot of silver and gold stuff in these packs. I've really just noticed that. We're getting a lot of uh, gold and silver stuff. So there you go. We got gold purple print. So at least we're completing all this stuff already, which is really awesome. So hopefully we can finish getting stuff here. So we've got silver shower cap and gold layered velvet. I, I wonder why we're getting those gold stuff because I've. I've recently only been getting gem stuff on this, which I think, like, it's kind of put me off. Oh my god, we've got four customizations here. We've got Silver Neapolitan, Silver Happy Log, Crescent Moon, and Gold Complementary Bolts. So, yeah, it's basically, like, it, it's, are the shops broken right now? Because I feel like these are, like, different sorts of packs. Oh, we've got, like, <laughs> we've got, like, two things for the chomper here. Gold Cherry Blossoms and Silver Cherry Blossoms, so it's, like, the same thing. And Gold Happy Log. So we'll open up two... 
12. We'll, <laughs> we'll open up two more of these and then I will be ending the video there. So we got gold splatter face, gold moving targets and gold overcharge. We'll open up, we could, uh, 35,000 coins. Uh, 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 uh. We'll open up a one track of rings. I haven't opened up one of these packs in such a long time. So we'll open this up here. You get loads of stuff on these. Ripped Camo, uh, Silver River Blinders, Gem Cosmic Recruit, Silver Strip Overload, Gold Late Night Reading. You get a lot of items in those. So let's open up. And uh, look, look, this is actually going to be the last one. And it will actually take us right down to a 1, uh, not 1 million, 11 million coins. I um, exactly. So we've got Silver Crescent Moon and Gold Neapolitan. So I think that is going to be it for today's Quest to Max Rank video. Sorry if it was quite short. The game just ended and I just didn't really want to play another game because that would make the video like half an hour long so yeah that is going to be it for this video if you guys did enjoy this video please leave a like they really do mean a lot to me subscribe for more videos because i am going to be uploading every day this november and i will hopefully see you again next time have a good day everyone goodbye